Their oil filter. The oil filters. Here is a standard regular oil filter that everyone decides to go the easy route, the cheaper route. But for me, I always recommend putting the OEM filter. This is from Honda. See, as you can see. And this is Defense. Uh, I have no idea where it's made. <laughs> oh, uh, Ontario. Hey, this is why I prefer the oil filter, not just the, well, the size difference for sure, but the thread pattern is the same. But what's inside, it's, they put more thought into it. I really wish I could open it up and show it to you because this is actually great material inside and it's designed for manufacturing. So my point of view is I always go for OEM because it's better and it's a little bit two, three dollar difference than the regular standard one. But you can see the, the O-ring is really rubber compared to the aftermarket one. But we're gonna put this oil filter in. Hey folks, so on this episode, uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, oil change, how I do it. Um, you just need, right now, uh, the pit is up and jacked up. And I'm going to get the, uh, drain out the oil first. And you just need something to catch the oil. Start the, to start to drain the oil, all you have to do is just get something to catch it. I'm using this. <laughs> if you don't have this, let's go buy a pail, any some sort of pail, just to catch the oil. Next, I'm gonna grab the oil filter right here. Um, it depends where the oil filter sits. Uh, this one is in front of the, well, close to the rat radiator. Sometimes it's under the oil pan. Sometimes it's up top. But all I'm going to use is a uh, oil filter wrench. This one is completely adjustable. It adjusts to different sizes. And there's different filters now too. It's just a cartridge. I don't have one in here, but this one is a direct screw on, which I find a little bit easier and better because it's just a screw on. And the, the one with the cartridge, you have to like put it in, but I'll put that in the next video when I work on to uh, certain vehicles with the cartridge. You get a bigger oil filter, it's better because it, it filtrates more of the oil. That's my point of view because I, I say it's better. And to do installation, first of all, you have to lubricate the oil. That way you can get it off easier when you do an oil change next time. Just have to wet the, the rim of the oil filter. And all you have to do is just screw it on. And tight. Grab a rag.
clean the surrounding and voila. That's how you change the oil filter. When I, before I fill the oil, this is the dipstick. There's indicator lines from empty to full. C certain vehicles don't have dipstick or some vehicles don't have dipsticks. They controlled by uh, computer module. But then again, you have to check it with a diagnostic scan. When I fill up the oil, here's the oil filler cap. All right, I got a better funnel now. And slowly put the engine oil in. And then all you have to do is basically check the dipstick. Pull it out and see how much oil is in there. As you can see, it's almost into full. It's kind of hard to see. Hard to see because uh, the oil is so clear. Just keep it a couple of times. There you go. It's full. Um, it's actually 3.5 quarts, not 4.8. I just got used to other vehicles that is for 4.8 quarts, quarts, sorry. And all you have to do is next is start it up and check if there's any oil leaks around your seals, your oil filter and your drain plug. 